I uh, went to the Helix Cemetery and ran my dogs. And when I came home, this frog, I, I saw it hopping. Um, and so I found another frog. It's so awesome. Except somebody said that this is a toad, not a frog. Because they said, um, they said a frog doesn't have warts and it's wet, and that a toad is not wet and has warts. Anyway, this thing was wet at first because when I picked it up, it started urinating all over. Anyway, he's so cute. I just don't want him to die, but I don't really know where they're coming from. Yeah, they're quite interesting. Hi, baby. Are you scared? I'm going to take you over by the pool with that, like, with that other one. Yeah, it's weird that they would come, because, like, from the creek, it's probably a good two blocks. So, if they're coming from the creek, who knows? Maybe they're living in my yard somewhere, and I just don't know it. And there's more, there's more than one, obviously, because this is number two. Oh, I think he made some kind of a sound. Are you scared, little baby? Amphibians. I don't have internet right now, and so... I almost want to go down to the library and where I can get a signal to see what the difference is between a frog and a toad. Are you a frog or a toad? Boy, he's just puffing up. He's, he's like a, all puffed up. I guess that's what they do to try to make themselves look bigger when they're overtaken by an enemy as I. Yeah, I, I, there's a little story in finding this frog because it's 9.30 in this town. It's pretty much dead silence. It's like if you have flat, flatulence, the whole town might hear it, basically. And... I don't know, I'm a night person, so on the way home, I'm going, oh, I'm so bored, I'm so bored, I'm so bored, and then I come home, and God does provide, because I found this frog, and now I have something to do that is not housework or like, you know, everyday stuff that I tend to put off, it's something exciting, finding an animal. It's really hard when you worked all your life and then suddenly, you know, you don't work anymore. You don't have a routine. It's just, I don't know, when you're forced to do something, like manage your time, I think life is more organized. Definitely. If you listen hard enough, there's some kind of a bird down the road a ways making a noise. What a piece of work is Toad. How noble in reason. Wearing smells from laboratories. 
they seen a dination of cute little helix toes. They seen a dination of cute little toads. Boy, he just pops up. Oh, I'm sorry. Big. He's a little puffer. Puff the magic toad. He lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Little froggy puffed out. In that little sea, and took a trip in a box somewhere to be free. And it's called Greasewood Creek. I can't sing worth beans. But I'm going to sing anyway, just because I'm getting old, so I better sing before I die. <clears throat> I'm free, the who, I think. I'm free, and freedom is a reality. I am free, I am free, and freedom is a reality. Okay, I have three minutes left on this timer, so I'll walk him over to the crick. And then put the two films together. Thank you.